First step, we have the cat-cow stretch. In order to do this, you do have to be on your hands and knees, which means either being on the ground, or you can also do this in your bed. You're gonna round your back, like you're bringing your back up towards the ceiling like an angry cat, and then arch your back down like you're bringing your belly button towards the floor. Here's the countdown, we're at number eight right here, number nine, and we're going to finish at number ten, and we'll transition into the child's pose following this. Staying on your hands and knees, you're going to rock back like you're bringing your buttocks towards the heels of your feet to stretch out your low back and even your upper shoulders too. Now that we've stretched our low back, we're going to move on to doing some low back strengthening exercises, starting with toe taps. You're going to raise both legs up and then lower one leg at a time, making sure that you're drawing your stomach in and keeping your back flat so it's not arching from the ground as you do this exercise. This is number eight, number nine, and finally number ten. We'll stay on our backs for the next exercise. The bridge is next. You're going to bend both knees, keep your low back from arching, and squeeze your glutes like you're pinching a penny between them and lift them towards the ceiling. couple tips about this exercise, if you're feeling any trolley horses or cramping in the back of your thighs or hamstrings, bend your knees up a little bit more. Your feet may be a bit too far out in front of you. Also, if you're having any low back pain, make sure that one, you're not arching your back when you lift your hips towards the ceiling, and two, if that doesn't help, just don't bridge up as high towards the ceiling. This is number 18, number 19, we're almost done, and here's number 20. Great job. We're going to finish this off with two cool down stretches for our low back, starting with the lumbar rotation stretch, where you will grab the outside of your knee with your opposite hand and use that leverage to pull that knee across your body while keeping your other arm down on the ground, feeling a stretch in your low back. switching it up and doing the other side now. Same thing though. thing in this routine is a knee to chest stretch. You're going to be on your back still, pull one knee to your chest until you feel a stretch in your low back or your glute muscle. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds on each side.
And now we're gonna switch it up for our last side. Great job finishing this routine. You're on your way to a better back, so keep it up.